He that leadeth to captivity shall go into captivity, devils. I want to start by giving all the praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Bashim, Wakakwadash. Devil wants to the elder apostles of the great Muslim who well, peace and salutations to the old four elect tabernacle of David, scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. And, uh, you know, I happened to catch this, uh, live stream and this channel is, uh, Reason and Theology. And they happen to have Haman himself, all right, the Agagite, you know, on. And, you know, of course, you know, because he's an expert, you know, he's well studied on the Hebrew Israelites. Um, you know, they, he's asking him certain questions about the Hebrew Israelite faith and what we teach. And, you know, you know, this is, uh, what, uh, Agent Riser or Reiser, aka Haman, and this is what he specializes in. But, uh, I kind of chuckled when, uh, he asked vocab, you know, do, do they teach that white people are going to be slaves? So listen real quick. Now, you already know all the precepts, you know, that back us up, that we're not just, you know, this ain't just some fantasy. You know, we just want to see white people be become our slaves, you know, just because. No, the, the, the Lord, all right, the Lord pretty much is sanctioning for all you other nations to become slaves and, 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 and serve the children of Israel. All right, because look what you've done in the planet Earth. And look at the things that has been done upon the children of the Lord. Your ancestors got America. How? How exactly did they get America? What did they have to do? Who did they have to uh, conquer? What did they have to colonize? So anyway. I'm going to just uh, play this real fast. And then, of course, we're going to hit some precepts. It establishes a kingdom with Israel in charge, where everything now will be reversed, and they'll have their own servants as opposed to be servants. But when you say they'll have slaves in the king, are they saying they're going to have white people who are slaves to them? Oh, yeah. That, okay, okay, now, do, oh, yeah. are, are there any... And notice he didn't even mention nobody else. He's concerned with white folks, Edomites. So they're gonna they they're saying that they're gonna put white people in in, in slavery. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. He, Agent Riser Reiser, he he knows. Yeah. You didn't know that? All them books back there on that shelf. You know, every so called Edomite biblical scholar, you know, they, they gotta show the amount of books that they got, which shows you that despite all that knowledge, they still don't know a damn thing because they don't have the spirit. But if he understood the scriptures, yes, all nations will be servants under the children of Israel in the kingdom of the Most High. I mean, what do you think the Lord meant when he said to this to his church? You know, those that overcome will like give power over the nations and you shall rule them with a rod of iron. That means that you're going to be a king and you're going to uh, rule. You're going to have subjects. Just like when King David was in power, all those nations, they were in servitude. They had to, um, they had to pay tributary. So that means that they were slaves under King David. All right. And guess what? That's promised to the Lord. He's going to have dominion and you all are going to uh, be slaves to our Lord and he's going to share that dominion with his elect. All right. So he's going to share that same inheritance. So let me let me let me rewind it real quick. Because he looks a little startled at, you know, at that fact. That. There's going to be a point in time where he's going to go right into the, in the captivity. Have white people who are slaves to them? Oh, yeah. That, okay, okay, now. Oh, yeah. Get, are, but are not there just any, white folks. Not just white folks. There, Africans, too. Uh, okay, so I'm, I'm confused. They are don't there think any, you're African. Okay. 
are they, okay. <laughs> then, all right, I, I got you then. And, that, and that's a nervous laugh. All right. Now let, let's first let's ju let's just establish that Israel. We went into captivity under all nations, man. All right. That's that, that's number one. Number two. We're still found in, in in the hands of the people that led us into captivity. Let's get real quick. Um, is it Isaiah? I think it might be Isaiah forty-two. And this is uh, Isaiah 42 and 22, it says, but this is a people robbed and spoiled. Uh, we've been taken. We've been stripped of our heritage. Uh, we've been taken from one side of the earth to the other, right? We, we've been scattered. It says they are full of, it's like a, they are all of them snared in holes and they're hid in prison houses. We're trapped in this system. We're in these uh, religions. Learning the way of the heathen. We're completely discontinued from our heritage, serving our enemies in strange lands, serving wood and, and stone. It says, They are for a prey, and none delivereth for a spoil, and none saith restore. All right, we haven't been restored. So we're still among these other nations and serving them to this very day. So what you think is going to happen when the Lord comes to recover a remnant of them from among you nations? You're going to put the smack down and put that crown on his head and then he's going to raise his people up. All right, let's go to uh, Jeremiah. Is it uh, 50 and 33? And it says, Thus saith the Lord of hosts, the children of Israel and the children of Judah were oppressed together. All right, the northern and the southern kingdom, the, the so called Negro, Hispanic, and Native American. We were both oppressed right here in, 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 in Babylon, getting exploited of, of our uh, labor. They make merchandise of us, we get uh, 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 poorly treated. We get taxed, we gotta pay bills. We're subject to payments. We're yet this day in our captivity. It says, and all that took them captives held them fast, they refused to let them go. And that's why we're still even here. You know? So, those who took us captive, guess what, what, what gotta happen? Isaiah 14. And verse 2, I'll start at 1, it says, For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob, and will yet choose Israel, and set them in their own land, and the strangers shall be joined with them, and they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. And the people shall take them, and bring them to their place, and the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of the Lord, in the Holy Land, for servants and handmaids. What do you think that is? And they shall take them captives whose captives they were, and they shall rule over their oppressors. Because right now we're the oppressed. But the Lord's going to come and beat in pieces the oppressor, and then they're going to be ruled over. Starting really with the uh, international bankers. They're the, the ultimate top oppressors. Exploiting the whole entire planet, man. Getting richer and richer and richer. So they're the first ones that's going to uh, go cap go go captive. But then the rest of you, because a lot, uh, uh, all you Edomites here in America, you ain't gonna make it. Uh, you're gonna be uh, dissolved. You're gonna you're gonna become uh, a sacrifice pursuant to uh, Isaiah 34 uh, and uh, was that uh, five? My well, sword shall be bathed in heaven; it shall come down upon Idumia. And then your soul, your spirits are gonna come back, and you're gonna wake up with 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 chains. 
All right, little little baby shackles around your feet. Okay. Now let me read this in the uh, the other translation. Uh, uh, NLT, it says the nations of the world will help the Lord's people to return and those who come to live in their land will serve them. Those who captured Israel will uh, themselves be captured and Israel will rule over its enemies. Uh, NIV, nations will take them and bring them to their own place and Israel will take possession of the nations and make them male and female servants in the in the Lord's land. They will make captives of their captors and rule over their oppressors. Uh, this didn't happen during the uh, medial Persian Empire, by the way, because they like to say that this was already fulfilled. That did not happen. And we, and you know, I, I went into it. Brothers, multiple brothers then, you know, broke this down already. It says, uh, Eastern Standard Version, it says, and the peoples will take them and bring them to their place. And the house of Israel will possess them in the Lord's land as male and female slaves. They will take captive those who were their captors and rule over the, those who oppressed them. Okay. So that's that's uh that's plain to see. Let's go to Jeremiah 30. After the Lord deliver us, this is what he said is gonna happen. Jeremiah 30 and Uh, Jeremiah 30 verse 7 it says alas for that day is great so that none is like it is even a time of Jacob's trouble and, this, and we're coming into that time I'm pretty sure vocab aka uh, Haman I'm pretty sure he would agree that this is uh, talking about future prophecy right but he that but he shall be saved out of it showing you that only Israel only the children of Jacob will be saved out of that a remnant of them it says, for it shall come to pass in that day, saith the Lord of hosts, that I will break his yoke from off his neck, from off his neck and will burst thy bonds and strangers shall no more serve themselves of him. So that means that we will still be in captivity or in bondage on the day that the Lord delivers us or saves us out of the tribulation. You see? So this is uh, getting ready to happen. And you will no longer be able to serve yourselves of us. You know, where you know where you can exploit us and use us to forge your, uh, you know, your, your 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 empire. All right. It says, but they will serve the Lord their power and David their king, and it's going to be in the kingdom, whom I will raise up unto them. All right. Now let me jump down to verse sixteen. And it says, therefore, all they that devour thee shall be devoured, and all thine adversaries, every one of them, which is the uh, the, the heathen, the heathen nations, shall go into captivity. And, th and they that spoil thee shall be a spoil, and all that prey upon thee will I give for a prey. All right? That's what's going to happen, man. Vocab acting like the scriptures don't back us up on that. But he knows what it is. You see all that weight that he didn't gain. That that dude been eating his, eat, <laughs> he been eating himself to sleep for 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 a while. You know. You know you're tormented, man. But this guy right here, he he's just now getting uh, introduced, you know, to uh, you know, the truth. And he's laughing about it, but you can tell he that, that's a nervous laugh. So you mean to tell me white white people are, are gonna go gonna be slaves? Yeah, nigga. You eat them ice y'all damn sure are gonna uh go into captivity, man. For sure. Alright, you reap the benefits of our captivity. So now is is your turn. You think that you you're gonna go unpunished? Let's get that in uh the 49th chapter.
Yeah, this is uh, Jeremiah 49. And verse 12, it says, For thus saith the Lord, Behold, they whose judgment was not to drink of the cup have sure, are shortly drunken, and art thou he that shall altogether go unpunished? Thou shalt not go unpunished, but thou shalt surely drink of it. This is the same cup that we have to drink, you're going to have to drink of that cup. All right? You're going to get, first you're going to get destroyed, and then in the kingdom, you're going to serve us, and we're going to get vengeance upon you. All right? All your iniquity, everything, all the evil that you've done against us is going to be reckoned. Our Lamentations 4 and 21. And it says, Rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom, that dwellest in the land of Uz. The cup also shall pass through unto thee. Thou shalt be drunken, and thou shalt make thyself naked, meaning exposed. And, and you're being exposed by the men of the Lord through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shai. All right, that inquisition has been made on all your evil doings against us. All right. And now it's time for you to uh to reap that. It says, The punishment of thine iniquity is accomplished, O daughter of Zion. He will no more carry thee away into captivity. He will visit thine iniquity, O daughter of Edom. He will discover thy sins. All right. And I'm going to get this other one. Y'all already know this one. I don't even have to really go to it because we already know it by heart, but I'm going to go to it anyway. Revelation 13, 9 and 10. If any man have an ear, let him hear. He that leadeth in the captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here's the patience and the faith of the saints. Now, I remember uh, Vocab, you know, he, he tried to break this down and it, the shit was hilarious, man. Well, he basically tried to say that this we take this out of context and he said that basically this was a, a basically a warning to the church that some of you gonna go into captivity and some of you gonna uh die by the sword but this is your patience and your faith huh nah man nah no you, you nations that led us into captivity you're gonna go into captivity and all those other precepts that i read coincides with that all right so you're going to go into captivity whether you like it or not okay and after a thousand years after you you know <laughs> after we get our get back everything is going to be fine after that you're going the nation's going to get their land back you're going to learn how to finally keep your land you're going to know how to govern your land in righteousness because Look at the world. Look at the condition of the world right now. You're going to have to learn up under us. We're going to have to teach you the law. As it says in Isaiah, the second chapter, you're going to have to go up to the mountain of uh, Zion and learn our law. We're going to have to teach you. We're going to be um, priest unto you uh, other nations. But you're going to have to go into captivity first and you're going to build up the ruins of uh, the land of uh, Jerusalem and Israel. Okay, and it's even in our law that we can even have servants. And apparently, you, know, you had uh, those uh, Edomite Christians that came over here. I believe they were um, was it the uh, I think it might have been the Purit the Puritan doctrine where they believed that when they came over here, all this land over here was was basically a uh, New Jerusalem. So the people that were over here, you know, they 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 uh they basically took it as if they were the Israelites coming into the land of Canaan. You know, where the Lord gave us the instruction to go and you know wipe out those Canaanites and destroy their images and all that and not make any marriages and they look, you know, so that's what basically what they did. So they try to apply these laws right here in the in the scriptures to themselves. But they should have never done that. Because once they did that, they took the covenant in their mouth. So now, because they did that, they're going to be judged by the law. And they're going to be destroyed. That's why America is going to get wiped out. All right, Leviticus 25, now verse 44. 
<clears throat> yeah, uh, yeah, Leviticus 25 and 44 says, both thy bondmen, all right, slave men, and thy bondmaids, slave women, which thou shalt have, shall be of the heathen that are round about you. Of them shall you buy bondmen and bondmaids. Moreover, of the children of the strangers that do sojourn among you, of them shall you buy, and of their families that are with you, which they begat in your land, and they shall be your possession. We're going to possess these other nations. All right? But you also have a, a law where you can actually also purchase another Israelite as a servant. But the difference is you're not supposed to rule over them like you would rule over a heathen. They had, you know, still uh, privileges. All right. You can, you know, give a, a, a Israelite servant one of your daughters to wife. If, if, if you, uh, you know, you like that servant. OK. You treat them well, but a heathen, no, you, you, you could rule over them. It says, and you shall take them as an inheritance for your children after you to inherit them for a possession. They shall be your bondmen forever. But over your brethren, the children of Israel, you shall not rule over, rule one over another with rigor. All right? So that's right there in our law, man. And the Lord did not come to do away with the law. They're going to be written into us. All right? So there's no way you can really spin that. They tried to, you know, laugh about it and, like it's a joke, but the precepts is all through throughout the scriptures. Y'all hoping that it ain't true, that it don't come to pass. But uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, my man. The Most High is going to accomplish that which he pleased, man. It's going to accomplish until where he sent it. So anyway, you know, I just want to respond to that. And this is the, the name of the video, Who Are the Black Hebrew Israelites with Vocab Malone? And this was uh, streamed uh, almost a week ago. All right, so, uh, you know, maybe a few other brothers might see this same video and, you know, find something and, and, and you know, go in, you know. We always use vocab as a, as a chopping block, you know, glass joke, you know. But anyway, I'm going to give all praise to Yahweh, Shem Yahweh, to the next lesson. Shalom.